We just made these delicious steaks. Mm. There were two more, but we ate them. They're so good. I'm gonna have them for, uh, do some wraps tomorrow. Oh, I love steak. Uh, little help here. TP, more TP. Miles, help me. Oh, you're useless. Okay, so. I don't carry a whole bunch of toilet paper in my bug out bag or any bag, really. And um, husband was reading up a little bit about alternative TP options. So I was like, what did they do back in the day when they didn't have like, you know, traditional toilet paper? And so um, he said that obviously, you know, the good old method of leaves is good. Just as long as it's not like poison ivy or poison oak. Just that's really important if it's not poison ivy or poison oak. Um, you know, you could also use like grass. Sorry for the wind, by the way. I'll try to talk a little louder. Um, so another options, there are a couple other options. A lot of people just use their hands. Um, or they um, use water to just cleanse themselves. Uh, so I think that's probably going to be your best bet. But if you just look around, I mean, you can just use nature, any kind of nature. Just as long as it's not going to cause a rash of any sort <laughs> to use this alternative TP. It's not going to be pleasant, but it is what it is. But um, when I was in China, they uh, <clears throat> the stalls for women, there was no toilet paper. None. Everyone in China pretty much used their hands, and then they just like went and washed their hands. It was kind of gross. I did not. I did not use my hand. <laughs> I ca I learned to carry my own toilet paper with me. But um, like I said, in my bug out bag, I, you know, I don't carry very much, but even in my bug out bag, I would probably only use, I would use like half or even less of what I normally use just to conserve it. So I don't know. I mean, TP is not like life or death, but it's just something to think about. You know, people go to the bathroom all the time. So what are you going to do? Um, or you can just wear a loincloth, just air dry everything. The dogs don't have to worry about TP. They just magically clean. I don't know how that works. Anyway, we thought we'd just change it up. I thought I wanted to talk about TP out here. Let the dogs roam free. Enjoy the scenery in the middle of the week. You already expect it from their bowls. It's a hot day. Oh boy, Isaiah. I'm obsessed with this memo bottle. It's freaking awesome. This holds, um, Freaking, uh, we figured out it holds a quart, a little, little over a quart of water. Anyway, official review later, but, yeah. There's a little abandoned tennis court down there, and I wonder if I brought my bow and target, people, somebody would get mad. I mean, this is an abandoned park. I don't know. Hmm. Try it and ask for forgiveness later. Oh, <sighs> that was a fun little outing. It, uh, it was kind of warm out there. <laughs> The Texas summer has finally hit. Yes! Unlike a lot of people, I love the heat. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just wanted to do one last little update. My foot, the one that got bit by the ant, excuse me, it's feeling a lot better. The swelling has gone down a lot. Benadryl has helped. I did not get a chance to soak in an Epsom salt, which is what a lot of people, um, especially I was in Iowa was uh, <laughs> telling me about, and uh, I didn't get a chance to do it. But anyway, it's getting better. It will be better before the 10K, which is in, well, today's Tuesday. So it's on Saturday. It's getting close. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today.